Even when you feel low, you can right, still so go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Just gonna push in the middle of the clip. Just a little button there. Just push in. Another one. Push it in. Third one. Push it in. And then you can just use your hand. Your fingers. And just pop right up. Okay. You're gonna open up the box that you get when you have your ECU upgraded to Honda Data K Pro. Uh, this is version 4. It'll have a pigtail harness supplied. This is the harness. We're we'll plugging this into the ECU to get um, our 5 volt inputs. So it has 8 5 volt inputs on this harness. Starting from the red one down. Alright, next we're going to use our 3 ace ratchet with a 10 mil socket. And there's going to be 3 bolts. One here, one here, and all the way in the middle in the back there's another 10 mil right back here. Unscrew all those and then the ECU will come down. Alright, we got the ECU down and now we get to take off this cover to get access to the, the board so that we're going to plug this harness into. So there's going to be four Phillips head screws to hold this cover down. We're going to take those off now. Okay, so now to plug in the harness and run it outside of this box here, we will have to notch it. There's nowhere to run this harness outside of this box so that way you can get access to the wires um, and hook up your inputs. So we're going to modify it. We're going to be putting a notch onto the left side of this uh, ECU and that way we can run the wires outside so they're going to come out like this right here and that way we can get access to the wires without having to open this up and then um, even if you didn't notch it there's no way if you had these in here you're not gonna be able to get access to them so and you don't want to smash the wires uh, on, on the in between the casing and this the cover so we're gonna have to notch this out um, to the diameter so just squeeze them together look at the diameter of it and eyeball it up with a drill bit and I'll explain how I do that in the next step and I'm also gonna heat shrink where these wires come through the box just for a little extra protection so we're gonna go ahead and do that next all right I got the ECU on the bench uh, I started taping it up and then I also have uh, the ECU marked where I'm going to drill the hole and we're going to finish taping this up and go on to the next step. Okay we're going to use a Dremel and this uh, rounded half moon bit. Uh, it's got a rough edge on it and I have the, not, or the part marked on the ECU where I'm going to notch it right here. Uh, it's just left of this sticker, and we're gonna go ahead and do that. My good. Alright, we're gonna use a quarter inch drill bit. 
And if we put it in here, and it's not flush at the top of this, it's not gonna fit. So the diameter of all the wires here, put them together, is about a quarter of an inch. So that's how I'm using the gauge it. So we still have to keep going. Gonna use a flat surface uh, and put it up against there. And if you don't see a gap at the bottom here, you have enough space to fit this gauge wire through. So it's perfectly flush with the top of the casing, so we're all good to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and deburr this real quick to make sure there's no rough edges on here. You don't want to cut the wires. And we'll be good to go. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next step here. I have heat shrink tubing. It is a quarter to one eighth is what you want. So this is going to be quarter inch in diameter, all these bunched together. So I'm going to go ahead and heat shrink this and I'll show you how to plug it in and then what we're going to do to secure uh, the wire to keep it from slipping out. Okay, now we have our harness right here and then we're going to use the shrink tubing cut it down to the size that I needed. It's about an inch and a half. And the rest of the way. Let's straighten these out. plug this in and so uh, the ground is here the black wires are ground so it's gonna get plugged in there's two sides since so this side's gonna be facing you when you when you plug it in just like this and then there is the holes just line them up with the pins Yeah. Slide it on there until it stops. Like that. Let me figure out how far down this heat shrink tube has got to go. Four turns in here. So. Right like that. Okay, pull this back out. Let's have it marked. Okay. 
Okay. It's gonna look just like this. So just make sure it's all in a 90 here. So it's all preformed. Take uh, our heat gun here. Um, this one has a bunch of different settings. It's gonna be on the low setting. So it'll be the first notch. Click forward. And then I have it on setting five. So just pick it up like this. Just gotta heat up a little bit and then we'll start heat shrinking it. back and forth. Okay, so turn on high real quick just to give it a quick a second to cool down. Okay, so this is all heat shrink, good to go. I'm gonna plug this in and then I'll show you how to secure this harness down. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Careful not to bend the pins. And just slide it forward so it stops. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then we are going to use a zip tie, just a small zip tie. It's uh, like five inches. So I got laying around. It's gonna come through here. So, and what this is going to do is prevent it, this harness from pulling out. So, I'm going to push this in a hair. And that's it. Use side cutters here. Cut it. And then just spin this down. Okay. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna grab the cover. Okay. Cover and it sits on there like that. And this actually has a little bit of a lip, so we'll have to notch that out as well. Turn this around so you can see it. Okay, you can see how so this has a lip on it. Right here. And it's hitting our, our harness is slitting, sitting flush out here. So we're just gonna mark it. 
here. In there. And then we'll get it notched out. Okay, you can see we have it notched out. So I just use the side cutters and just uh, cut right where I have it marked each side. And then I use these small channel locks. It's the same width as what I cut out. And then I just use it, bend it up. And then I just use these, sorry, can't see it. Use this to bend it up. And then just worked it back and forth back and forth until it bent off and then you just put it down and then you're gonna want to because uh, it's still gonna be a little uh, lip right here so it's gonna take the bottom of these channel locks push down just rock it back and forth to flatten it out and it'll be a nice and smooth surface No, it's ECU back here and the notch. I'm gonna put the cover on. Okay, so everything lines up. There's plenty of room. I'm not getting pinched. Let's get the screws back in here and then we'll get it back in the car. Okay, we got the cover back on the ECU and now we're gonna go back up to where our gauges are at pull those out and get access to uh, this cage here the harness for that and then I'll show you the wire colors that gotta run the one wire that runs from here to the pigtail and we're gonna use input one and that's gonna be the red wire. 